Well, good morning, Stampers. How is everybody today? It is, I was going to say Tuesday. It's not Tuesday, it's Thursday. <clears throat> October 20th, and I've got my coffee right here in my grease cup that I earned, from, or that I earned, that I purchased while I was over for the grease tour. Hmm. <laughs> for the uh, incentive trip a few years back. So let me log on here on Facebook, make sure I'm going live in the right spot, because it has happened before that I haven't gone live in the right spot. And yay, and I have sold, so we are cooking with Crisco. All right, let me make sure I can see my screen. Alrighty, we have a few things to chat about today and we are going to make a beautiful card playing with the Framed Florets stamp set. I know, it is so pretty. So, alrighty. Now, just so that you guys know, I'm Dawn Stock. Good morning. I'm a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator, and my business is predominantly online. So, no borders other than it has to be U.S. So, we are actually going to chat about here in the mini catalog, and I'm going to show you the two items that we're going to play with today. Number one, we're going to play with this ribbon. It is called the 3 16ths Iridescent Trim Ribbon. And that item number is 159594. It's on page 17 here in your mini catalog. And then flipping over, we are going to play with, and I think this is kind of a sleeper. I think a lot of people are missing this. This is back here. It's on page 40, page 40. And it's the Snowflake 12 by 12 Specialty vellum and guys this is so pretty now you're getting six sheets of these these are 12 by 12 and you're getting two each of three designs so it's really cool some of them are iridescent some of them have foiling in it and some of them have the white flocking so guys this is really really pretty and Okay, I for those of you who follow me here on Facebook or maybe follow me on my blog, did you guys see what I posted yesterday with my Ho 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 Paper Pumpkin? Mm -hmm. We're not going to be talking about that today other than to tell you, make sure you tune in on Tuesday because that's what we're playing with on Tuesday morning. So grab your kit. Everybody should have theirs or most people should have them. Okay, I'm still waiting on one of mine. Um, and guys, I usually get four every month now. Um, so right now, as of right now, I have two left and that includes the one that I'm still missing. So if anybody does want one, just let me know. Uh, we have to officially wait 30 days after the subscription period. So it's technically not available until November 10th. Chat with me. Okay. I will have those at craft shows coming up and we'll talk then. Okay, so here is this. It's the mini catalog. I already showed you those pages. All right, so let me show you the flyer first and then we'll show you the rest of the items. And I have my little notes here so I make sure I go over everything correctly. This is the fitting florets. That's what we're playing with today. Now, officially, it's not available until November 1st. Guys, if you're a demonstrator, you've got it now. Most of us have ordered it because it's so beautiful. There's a whole collection here. Remember that we're going to come back to that. The whole collection is $97.50. Inside of that, that whole collection, you get <clears throat> the framed florets bundle. Oh my gosh, I obviously have not had enough coffee today. Hmm. <laughs> It's the Framed Florets Bundle, which includes the Framed Florets Stamp Set and the Framed Florets Dies. It also includes the Gold Adhesive Back Swirls. There's a, an additional stamp set called the Framed and Festive Stamp Set. And then there's paper that's the Fitting Florets 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. Okay, can we talk? Does anybody remember Joan Rivers? Can we talk here? Um, guys, I've been around long enough. I can usually figure a few things out. I've been wrong a few times. I've been right a few times. Okay. Take it for what it's worth. This paper 
is absolutely beautiful. These swirls are so stinking cute. And I'm going to show you mine. Okay, guys, I'm doing a class on this next month. This is going to be the coffee club. This is going to be the latte joy club. This is going to be the card class to go, whatever you want to call it. Okay. This is the $39 class. And what I'm planning is they'll get the package of the paper. I would have liked to have in included those because I don't think those are going to last very long at all. I think the paper is going to be real, real quick behind it. So we're actually going to use the iridescent rhinestones for the class because I just don't think those are going to last very long at all. Um, and then some of the, on the designs, I'll be using some with the framed florets, but I will also do some with the framed and festive. So if you're wanting to focus on Christmas, you can do the Christmas ones, or you have this to do um, with your different sentiments because there's birthday, there's a thank you, there's a friend, uh, just a little reminder that you are love, special person on a special day, celebrate. So, I mean, it's an all, all occasions one. Okay. So I will do up different designs and then you get to choose because you'll have your own stamp set, which you will purchase separately as an, as an adult. Okay. But right now I'm planning on using that paper. However, I'm not sure that paper is going to last through the 15th. I'm hoping it will. I, I'm really hoping and praying it will. So what my little disclaimer is, is for those of you who are my monthly subscribers, that every month you get the kit. So if you're not one of those, think about joining it for next month, okay? I will send out the link on the 25th because that way then that's when I can start collecting money. You can only do it a week in advance. But on the first, in the wee hours of the morning, I'm getting online to order these papers. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm only, I don't wanna say guaranteeing because it's still not a guarantee, okay? The only ones that I can really try to get for are the ones who are the monthly subscribers. So I'm just telling you that straight up. And if you haven't seen that, because I know that's kind of hard to see, this is what the paper looks like. And guys, look at how pretty these are. So pretty and springy. But you can also change them and make them into fall, winter, Christmas. See this paper right here? See those little white berries? Grab hold of your um, either cherry cobbler or real red blend. You could use a marker. The blends are easier. And bang, you got Christmas paper right there. Same thing over here. You want to change those and make those more of a green instead of the blue. There you go. Boom. You've got it. So guys, again, this is a great paper, but it is a limited time only. Demonstrators can get it now. Mere mortals, which are customers, can get it beginning November 1st. Okay. So we'll come back to that one. What we're going to play with is this is the bundle. This is the framed florets and here are the dies. And guys, I keep mine on a magnetic sheet because it's just easier for me. These are the dies and you can see there's a lot of intricate on these. You're going to want your dies for it. You'll receive the cardstock pieces and parts, but that way then, like if I use the one for the hearts, but you want this one for there, you'll have the cardstock to be able to die cut. So that's how that is. But this is that stamp set. Look at how pretty that is. This will be in the upcoming spring catalog, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> this is the additional stamp set that's only available while supplies last, okay? So this one only available while supplies last. I mean, there's no other way to say that. It's only available while supplies last, okay? And the paper is only available while supplies last and the bling and this is what the bling looks like so guys if you haven't seen these these are and do you like how this doesn't even have a label on the front the labels on the back it's called the gold adhesive backed swirls and this is what they look like you get 75 of those guys these will fit into an envelope so i really think these are going to go bye byes really really quick um, and they're flat, so this is going to be perfect for Christmas cards. But look at how pretty that paper is. I love that paper. This is my extra package that's not even opened yet. I know. Okay, so who's ready to craft a little? I know. So we will be playing with this stamp set today and these dies today. And again, only Stampin' Up! demonstrators can get them. So if you're thinking about joining, 
you know this month is a great time to join because they've got that starter kit plus you're getting 56 extra dollars with your kit and free shipping totally up to you okay and then we're playing with the framed and festive which is a limited edition limited time only stamp set Alrighty, so <gasps> drum roll please da -da -da -da. okay so you're gonna want your shaded spruce stamp pad I am also going to use my shaded spruce marker and I prefer cherry cobbler if you'd rather use real red that's fine too I do have to re-ink my cherry cobbler marker so you're actually going to get to see how to re-ink it today too Alrighty, so first thing first I have my little samples all ready to go over here you are going to want and again if you're going to make one you might as well make two and I got all the pieces and parts out and then I'll tell you what everything all is here and I think that's it okay so what we have here let me move that so I've got it just in case I need an extra get a sip of your coffee here guys hmm okay it's showing up I have four comments and it doesn't show comments on here it just shows me who's watching hmm. I don't know Facebook is really acting wonky for me, guys, so please forgive. Um, I promise I'll get back to your comments, so let me get back into it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, Lynn says, I see you. Carol Kay says, good morning. To oh, thank you, Carol Kay, for sharing. I always forget that. Guys, if you like my videos, please feel free to share those with your friends. These are a free card class is what this is, basically. And good morning, Miss Pam. Okay, so first thing first... We're going to have a thick basic white cardstock and guys you want the card base to be the thick one if you put it on our regular card base it'll work but because we're putting things on the front when you set it up it tends to tip over so you do want to go with the thick card bases and grab your bone folder so it's eight and a half by five and a half score in the middle at four and a quarter and what i do is i Put the corners together up here and then if it doesn't move on me there we go and then i take my bone folder and i go across it to burnish it and guys i do flip it over so that way then it helps to make it lay flat and again if you're going to make one you might as well make two you've already cut the cardstock right okay so there's that so we've got our card bases i'm going to set one of the or i'm going to actually set both of those aside for right now then here is that beautiful foil. Can you guys see that iridescent foil? Look at how pretty that is. Now, if you don't like that, you can flip it over and you can still see it, but it's more muted. I like this side. And then the other side is this beautiful flocking and it's, it's the fabric, like the flocking. I mean, if you're a younger person and watching this and I am dating myself here, ask your grandma about this. She'll tell you all about flocking. All I remember is, flocking okay so these are the two pieces that we're going to use because again we're making two cards and these are each they're the same size is three inches by four and a quarter so three inches by four and a quarter and you can choose your pattern okay guys these just happen to be the two that i like so that's why i grabbed those then the florets dies okay let me see if i grab the right one okay so on this one and i'm going to pull this out so you guys can see where i get these pieces and parts from now guys if you take the class if you take my um the florets class next month you'll get a video on how to do this okay if you can see there's some rings on that there's some like indentations onto it that is the inside of this piece i'm gonna flip it over and you'll see that it fits perfectly inside of that so that is this piece let's see inside here is what the white piece is and then the black it's got all the little uh, racetrack lines onto it well that happens to be this die here see how that is okay so that's that die there so those are the two dies that we're using for this today all right that beautiful one and then this interior one all right so let me put i keep mine in a big ziploc bag while i'm demonstrating otherwise it goes into my binder but there are times those little ones just kind of flick off and go flying and i don't want to lose anything so i'm putting it back in my ziploc here so that i don't lose that okay 
So we've got that and we've got the oval. Now, and I know that's going to kind of be hard to see, you are going to ultimately want your um, silicone mat as well. So go ahead and grab that. We're just going to do this on here so that way then you can see. So my stamp set is right here. And you'll notice one is the clear photopolymer. The other one is the red rubber. And for those of you who know this, a lot of times when they do specialty things like this, the set that's going into the spring catalog is the clear photopolymer, right? I keep my extra ovals in there so I don't forget those. So the clear photopolymer is the one that's going to be continuing into the big catalog, or not the big catalog, sorry, cross that, the spring mini catalog, okay? But the framed and festive, because this is a seasonal one and it's limited to time only, that one's going to be the red rubber. I know. And yes, I'm so old school. I still trim mine. I know. And it's so funny. I got to share. It's so funny. At my BOGO sale, I have a couple of customers who will look through my stamps. And if I have duplicates, they will actually purchase the cut ones because they say, Dawn, you've already got it ready to go. If there's like a piece that has to be cut out in the middle, it's already done. You've already trimmed it. I don't have to worry about the shadows. So yeah, I'm old school, guys. I still trim all mine. And then you guys know I've done this for years. I keep the negative space in here so I know which stamp is missing, which happens to be that one. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to take our red rubber, which is the one that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And can you say that without singing that? I cannot. It's, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I don't sing well, guys. I can't carry a tune if it was in a bucket. All right. So this is where we're going to um, use our markers. So I've got my shaded spruce and I've also got my cherry cobbler. Now, just so that way then it has this, a chance to um, absorb, I'm going to show you how to re-ink this and then let it set for a minute. You want to take your cherry cobbler refill just shake it up a little bit and then just this is one of the glass blocks I like the D block and I have several of those I'm just going to put a couple little drops right there of the ink onto the D block and then I'm going to take because I'm going to use the brush tip and all I'm going to do is set it down into it and it just starts to absorb it and I'm going to twist it around a little and you can see it's it's absorbing it because it was kind of dry should probably put a little bit more on, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to swirl. Yeah, I'm just going to put another drip on that. I tend to not re-ink mine until I need them. That way then, you know, they're ready to go when I need them. So, and you can do this also on the pen tip side. It just doesn't work as well. It's, um, so guys, don't ever throw out your markers. As long as you've got a good tip on it and just buy the re-inker and it'll save you lots of money. Um, there we go. So you can see that's starting to. Okay, so I've still got that. You can use it as a brush if you want. So since that's re-inked, I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, so here's my white block or my white oval, not circle, and I'm going to take the brush tip on my shaded spruce. And what I'm going to do, and you paint it going this way. If you hold it this way and scribble, plan on just buying a brand new marker because you've just ruined the tip of it, okay? So you're gonna hold it this way to the side and you're just gonna kind of color the ones that are the um, uppercase letters, the printed letters. And I'm just going along on here to make sure I have them all. And then very carefully, I'm going to twist this and there's the word little in there. And I'm just going to very, very carefully go along on that one. And you may have to move it a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had such a headache yesterday, a complete migraine. I mean, like to the point I was in the bed most of the day. And it finally went away about, well, it lessened about 3 o'clock this morning. So I feel like I've lost a whole day. So I need more coffee. I missed out on my coffee yesterday. <clears throat> All right, so there is that. So I've done the green. <clears throat> Excuse me. So can you see that I've got the have, a, have, have yourself a and then little. Those are already marked in the green. 
Then I'm going to take my cherry cobbler and I'm going to do the Mary. I'm going to do the Mary first so that I can be very, very cautious and very, very careful about it. And again, you may need to twist it a little so that you can get all the, the nooks and crannies. So once you're sure you've got that one covered, then come down here and do the word Christmas, which is on the bottom. You can be a little bit more free with that one because it's at the bottom and odds are you're not going to hit any of the printed words, the uppercase. All right, so I'm just kind of swirling that around on there. All right, so now that you've got it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and hold it up towards your mouth and you're gonna go <sighs> so that within it, you're like breathing onto it. All right, so here's this, and I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. Okay, so you guys can see this on here. Normally I would not stamp on the uh, silicone mat, but I wanted you to be able to see it and it doesn't show up very well. And then press down in the center, let go, hold down here and then pull this block straight up. Ready, one, two, three. Ta-da! Look at how cool that looks. Doesn't that look so neat? I know. And then what else we're going to do, there it is. I was like, I got my stamp set around here. I'm going to take the leaf, which is out of the framed florets. And guys, there's also a die cut that goes along with that. So you can stamp that and then die cut it as well. But that's what I'm going to use on this one. And you could, if you wanted, go along this with your shaded spruce, but we're going to um, do it several times. So for ease, I'm going to just use my stamp pad. I'm going to move this out of the way for right now. So there is that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to take this, get a sip of my coffee. Hmm. Man, coffee cup is getting a little cold. Joshua got me one of those cup warmers a few years back. I never remember to use it. This is my, you can see I've stamped all over it. So since I'm stamping off of it, I'm going to use that little piece here. So I'm just going to line up along in here. And this is where I love the clear photopolymer because I can see right where my stamp is going to go. And then I'm going to come over here. Come over here and I'm going to do one going up the side there. And do one over here. And see, I didn't do very well onto that, but that's okay because part of that black overlay will cover up part of that. If it bothers you, and I'm going to share this with you, you can re-ink it and then see if you can line it up exactly right because, again, it is the clear photopolymer. And it just gave a little bit. There we go. So that's what we're doing on that. That's also the same one I would use to stamp on my envelope as well. Okay, so now we're done stamping. Put that aside. While it is still wet, now it will work while it's dry, okay, but it's easier to do it while it's still wet. Grab hold of your wink of Stella. So shake that up. And then what we're going to do is see the green down here. I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pick up the green a little bit and just swirl it around. That's all the more I'm doing on that. Let me bring that up so you guys can see. Can you guys see how it picks up the color? And then it also makes it sparkly. Isn't that pretty? I know. You know, you can never have too much Wink of Stella ever. And I'm not a glitter gal ever, but this one is just so pretty. So we're going to color those all in and I'm going to go kind of quickly on that. You don't really have to hit the ones on the edges because again, that, that black um, overlay is going to cover up a lot of it for you. But you know, I prefer CDO in the appropriate alphabetical order, and it would bother me knowing that that wasn't covered. So I know it's all covered all the way through with the Wink of Stella. I know. Go ahead and laugh. It's okay. I would laugh at me. Alrighty. 
and see, depending on how it is colored along in there and how you're picking up the color, some of them are a little bit lighter, some of them are a little bit darker. It's totally up to you on how much you want to pick up. I tend to go right up the center and that way then the darker is in the center pieces and parts and it gets lighter as it goes out because most of the ink stays there in the center. See, there's a little tip trick or technique for you. I know, I know. So you guys like in these morning classes, I love this because then my whole day is ready to go and I've actually been getting a little bit better about uploading these to YouTube. I know. You guys know I have a YouTube channel, right? Um, it's Stamping with Dawn Stock. I'll put the link in here too. Um, actually, no, I won't because Facebook tends to not play nice if I send them to another area. So, all right, so that's what that looks like. Then what you do want to do is take your Wink of Stella and just kind of flick it off on a paper because otherwise the green is still on that set that aside and you're going to give that time to allow to dry so through the magic of tv okay ready set don't blink Ta -da. look at that it's already dry huh who knew we're going to take the overlay and remember one of the sides you can see the little dashes onto it kind of looks like a racetrack going around if you flip it upside down it's just not as pretty so there really is a good side and a bad side on this so on the bad side up or for those of you who are seamstresses the uh, wrong side the inside however you want to do it yep that you want up then we're going to go ahead and grab our fine tip glue pen take out the little pin that's in there and you're just going to very gently go around here oops and try to get it on the circle the oval not on the edges like i just did so we're going to do that one actually yeah we'll do the second one can you guys see that on there how i kind of went you don't want a huge amount onto it you just want a little bit because it is going to ooze out now I stamp this in far enough that I don't have to line this up on top. So to me, it's easier to flip it upside down and do it on this. That way then I can see that I'm hitting the entire black overlay. And then I just hold it there in the center and I go around like this to ooze out the, the glue, flip it over and you can see the glues on there. And then down here, I just do the same thing on the good side. And then we're going to set that aside to dry. And since we're doing one, remember we're doing two. So I'm just going to real quick do this one. I know, I like to take two laps around the racetrack there, huh? And then just make sure when you are done, you put the pin in, and I always have to concentrate a little bit on it so you want to make sure the pin is in there and when you press down and you twist it down in there the pin goes all the way in that helps keep the nozzle clear all right so there's this one right here and then the one we just did and again i'm going to take that flip that over upside down and then just press it onto here and try to get it so that you see black all the way around there we go and again, I'm just taking one trip around the, the racetrack, flipping her over. I'm going to take the second round around the racetrack. There we go. So those are both going to dry. When this is dry, I'll take it over and put it underneath the sink and just kind of, you can see the glue on there. You can use soap on it, but usually I just run water on it or just set it in with my dirty dishes and just, you know, kind of do it together like that, like you're you know, like rubbing a spot on your laundry. Remember how we used to have to pre-treat laundry? Doing that type of thing. And that way then it'll, the glue comes off, let it air dry, and you're ready to go for the next one. Okay, so here are those here. I'm going to take those and flip those upside down. And I'm going to grab my dimensionals. And you guys have seen me do this a zillion times. Um, I like to think of it like a clock. And let me put these on and we'll go over it. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. Because remember, if you're making one, you might as well make two. 
There's that one. Oops, and one there in the center. And what I do is I look at it like a clock face. And this is a little awkward, but nine, or I'm sorry, noon, three, six, nine, and one in the center. Noon, three, six, nine, and one in the center. However you want to look at it, okay, it's still, it's a clock face. That's the easiest way to do it. And you do it that way so that if you only did on the outside, then this part here in the center might go concave. So those are ready. We're going to set those up. All right, so now we've got our card bases. You're going to want to grab hold of your seal. And because that one has glue on it, I'm going to grab another one of the silicone mats because I don't want to get glue on this. Now on this, I will have to tell you on the vellum, your adhesive shows through on the vellum. Did you know that? I'm going to show you real quick on that. See this um, star here in the center? If I take this and I put my vellum onto it or my seal onto it and I press down, you can see the adhesive is on there. It just, that's how it works. So anywhere that you put adhesive on it, make sure you've got something to go over top of it. Now it makes it a little bit nicer on the white because it doesn't show as bad. So I'm just gonna go along and I'm gonna, well, there we go. Put some on like the bigger pieces because I don't care if it shows behind that. Oops, I think the house alarm is still on. Hubs just got up and is taking out the puppy dog. Love him for doing that. See, can you hear Hobbs ringing his bell? Yep, because he's got to go potty. Yep. Of course, you know, he's 35 pounds. He's got the bladder of a pea, right? The size of a pea. All right, so here's your card base. So it's going to open this way. So I'm going to take this, and I like that, and I know that this is going to cover up part of it, so I'm actually going to flip it sideways. And... What I'm going to do is open that up. I'm gonna start up here in the top, in the top corner, right up to the fold. Press that there and then, because sometimes your card bases are a little bit off, just makes it easier that way. And since it's down here on the bottom, all I have to do is flip that over, grab my snips and go And that's the only piece that didn't stay. I know, right? Okay, so that's card one. And then card two, we're going to take the one that has the flocking on it. And again, it's the same thing. It will show through. So we're just going to kind of hit those areas where there's something already there to make it a little bit easier. So yes, it will be a little loose. That's okay. There we go. Okay, so again, I want that flocking piece to be on my right. That's my card base. Tuck it up here into the corner at the fold. And then, oops. There we go. And then just walk it on down. See, look at how pretty that looks. Oh, and again, just a hair too long. So there is that. Now remember guys, I will be sending out the email. So if you're not on my email list, make sure that you are. You can text, if you text, the number that you text it to is 22828 and you just type in the word Latte Joy, all one word, Latte Joy. And then it'll prompt you for how to join my email list. You can go to my website, which is dawnstock.stampinup.net. Or you can, the easier way is to go to my blog, which is stampingwithdawn.com and give it like 15 seconds and a pop-up shows up and then you can join it that way. So I took those off here and I'm going to set that just a little bit over here. And if you want, you can make it go cattywampus. It's up to you. It is totally up to you. This is your card. So there's that one. And do the same thing here. But that way then you have the email because again, only the subscribers are the ones that I'm ordering the paper for on the first, because I'm just, I'm not sure that paper is gonna last. I'm almost positive those gold swirls are gonna be gone. So then this one's gonna go right here. 
So there's that one. See, look at how cute these are. Uh, let me get rid of this one real quick. I just rolled these up real easily. And guys, these are cash and carry. So I always have some available here for sale. And you guys know, I always put it in my um, adhesives pack. And for those of you who don't know, because I brought out my grease cup, the one that I got there in Greece, I did earn the Norway cruise this year by the skin of my teeth and with lots of prayers and all that. But I did order some extra adhesive. So for this month, for October, I'm actually selling my adhesive kits for $33. You're going to save $5 onto it. But make sure you let me know that because that special will end at the end of the month. My subscribers, I will continue to put it on theirs for the $33 onto it. So they'll always be able to get it until my stuff runs out. But there's that. Okay, so this is what that looks like. Then we're going to take um, that iridescent trim and you are going to want some glue dots. And I just have a little package of like extra glue dots for my paper pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. Grab my take your pick tool. And what I'm going to do is grab one of the glue dots on here, put this on the ribbon. And again, remember if you're making one, you might as well make two. We'll do that on here and then we still have the link to do and I'm going to show you a couple of alternates with this so let me put this back in here okay it's not showing up any comments so again guys I apologize if I don't get to your comment right away just know that I will get to it afterwards for some reason Facebook's just not playing nice okay so on this one I'm looking at my samples here I'm just going to take this and you can just pin this over this way, which is exactly what I'm going to do. There's that one and take this one and I'm going to put that one right there as well. And then I'm going to grab hold of the adhesive back stars and you can tell my package is almost out. That's how much I've been playing with these. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. We use these, um, last month month before the one with the uh, Christmas uh, the memories and more oh my gosh that was so much fun with those so much fun I put back my take your pick tool you guys know you always want to use three on here so I'm going to look at this and go okay well I'm not seeing any of the adhesive sticking through so let's go ahead and we'll grab one of the bigger ones and we'll put one of the bigger ones up here and you know what let's do one of the smaller ones down here because remember you're going to want to make a triangle so that leaves i'm going to put one right there and up oh, there goes hubs leaving hope he has a great day there is that one so we've got our triangle going we've got this going here then we're going to do the exact same thing here and we're even going to just put the exact same pieces and parts there so there's that one there's a little one here, and let's do another big one up there. Okay, well, I waved at him. We'll see if he saw it or not. So that's kind of what it looks like. But wait, there's more. Do you guys like this? Isn't that pretty? Let me put these away so that I can show those away. Now, guys, I like cherry cobbler. That's my go-to is cherry cobbler. I'm a Regals gal. That's my favorite color family. I just like that. Did you know in the Regals family, there's two different shades of green into it. You've got shaded spruce and old olive, and there's two shades of red. You've got cherry cobbler and real red. I'm not a real red person, but I wanted to show you what this looks like with real red instead of cherry cobbler. And Okay, see that one's cherry cobbler. This one is real red. So you can see there's a slight difference, totally up to you. And if you wanted to, you could go around and put more of the leaves, which is what I did on this one. I kind of like it just going part of the way around. So it's up to you however you choose to do yours, okay? And let me show you a couple of alternates with this one. Now let me show you something else first. Before I forget, with this stamp set, for next month's class, the optional add-on, of course, is going to be the stamp set or the bundle. But because, guys, I don't know about you guys, I'm thinking Christmas presents right now. This is the birthday card organizer kit, and it comes with this. 
I'm going to allow this to be an optional add-on as well. It's $25. Your shipping and tax will be taken care of because it'll ship with your packet. So if you want this, make sure you add that on to it. And here are the cards because I already have my display because I got craft shows coming up. You're making six of that card. You're making six of this card down here. And then guys, look at all the extras that I had in here. That's everything I had left over. And it comes in a box just like this. And what you do, oops, it comes together. It even comes with the tear and tape. That's what you're using instead of your seal. And it's all ready to go like that. So guys, once you put it all together, You've got the organizer. You can put all your cards inside of it. The organizer will be in there. All Everything will all be put together. You've got a nice gift box ready to go. So guys, you guys have heard me talk about this. We're doing this for my mother-in-law. We're actually going to pre-address the envelopes for her and pre-stamp them for her. My mother-in-law has macular degeneration, so she can't see. So this is going to be ideal for her on that, guys. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I love that Stampin' Up! offered that. So here are the two cards that we made today. Don't forget, use the host code at $35. You'll get three of those butterfly cards, and I should have grabbed those. I've been working on my UFOs, especially with craft shows coming up. And I found some three by three little cards from a couple years ago. Well, I put them onto full size cards, and they are really pretty. So this is the one we made today. At the Tremont Club, this is the one that they made. Now on this one right here, see that little, just a little reminder that you are loved? That's here on the framed florets. That's the one that's going to continue over the bundle. Just a little reminder that you are loved. So guys, that would be perfect for somebody that's going through a tough time, for a sympathy card, for anything like that. We still use the same of those adhesive back stars. We still use the same ribbon and see there's the same paper that is over here. Okay, so we made that one. Now this one used, um, I think we used evening evergreen. Don't hold me to that. We used a different shade on this and we did not color in the leaves. Look at how different that looks. I think coloring that in looks so much nicer. And then for my team meeting last week, um, no, two weeks ago. Mm, yeah. Um, we focused on the Scotty, the Christmas Scotty bundle. And what I showed them was how to take one stamp set, one package of paper, and then you make three cards out of it is how they do it. So we used a different package of paper, and this was from the Scotty, but same exact design. But again, look at how different it looks based on, let me move that up because I know the closed captioning will be on there. But we used a different paper that's a little bit more um, vibrant onto it. And then on here, we used the two different shades of the greens. You are always loved. And then we used a different ribbon onto it. That's that window pane ribbon. And I know a lot of you guys got that last month when it was on the weekly deals. I mean, really great deal on that. And then instead we used the matte black dots, or excuse me, the matte dots onto those. That was what they used for the um, class type of thing. And you notice on these two, instead of stamping it directly on there, we stamped it on a strip and then pop dotted it and put banners into the edges of it. So guys, you are truly limited to your imagination on this, but this is a fun, easy card class. So to summarize, for those of you who um, may have missed this, okay, and it looks like there's another comment that popped up. So again, guys, I'm so sorry. For some reason, the comments are not showing up. Oh, Carol says pretty cards. Okay, thank you. So guys, to summarize, this bundle will be used next month for the coffee club class. You make five cards. The sixth item is a 3D item, okay? The stamp set and the bundle is an optional add-on. The birthday card organizer is also an optional add-on. And guys, when you do that, it's only the catalog price. You save the shipping and the tax onto it. I take care of that for you. 
for my subscribers. So if you are a monthly subscriber, and guys, you guys can sign up next week, okay? You just have to sign up by the 1st. For the monthly subscribers, you will also, I'm on the 1st, going to place the order for this paper. Oh, sorry, I should have shown you this. This is the my sample of that. For this paper, you will be getting that, okay? We're going to use the iridescent rhinestones instead because I think these are going to be sold out really quick. I'm hoping they'll make it till the 15th, but guys, these are so popular. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really hoping the paper makes it till the 15th, but it may or may not. So if you are signing up for only the monthly one, you're just going to do the month to month. You're not signing up for the monthly subscription. You may not get this paper because I will not order for those until the 15th. Now, spoiler alert, I am working on alternate designs using alternate paper and alternate cards for that, just on the off chance these do go unavailable, okay? Nobody will get the gold swirls, guys, because those are gonna go real quick. So we're all gonna be using the iridescent rhinestones. However, and this is a special, guys, this is a complete special, so I have my little note here. Only the subscribers as of November 1st will receive the DSP florets because I'm ordering on the 1st. Um, email go out on the 25th. However, if you order the collection, that's this whole thing here, the Fitting Florets Collection, that item number is 163129. It's 9750. You will receive, and that you order from Stampin' Up, okay? You will place the order, you will use the host code, and I will give you a special host code for that. With that collection, you get the stamp set, the dies, the extra stamp set, the swirls, and the whole package of paper. So guys, if you order that whole $97.50 through me between November 1st through the 15th, it is cut off on the 15th, I will actually cut you the card bases and ship those to you free of charge because you're spending a hundred bucks to get this. I want you to have some designs to go with it. Now you do have to order through me. So make sure you see Dawn stock as your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and make sure you use the host code if it's under $150. <clears throat> if it's 150 or more, don't use the host code. I will still send it to you, but you do have to order through me. So that will be available November 1st, okay? And again, guys, I really do, I'm hoping the paper lasts through the 15th. I'm really hoping it will. I don't think those gold swirls are gonna make it till then. So that's why we're not using that. So you'll get a whole package of this. You'll get a half of a package. What do I have? A half of a package of the iridescent rhinestones. And then you also receive a spool of the linen thread. Those are the items that you will need. And then I use different colors. So just make sure you look at the different shades that go along with this. Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride, Crush Curry, Evening Evergreen, Night of Navy, Polished Pink, and Soft Succulent. Now guys, I may use Soft Succulent, but you like Evening Evergreen. <clears throat> You're using your own stamps and ink. So you'll change it, change it, make it whatever you like. But again, if you buy the whole collection, if you buy the entire collection of $97.50, I will give you the PDF tutorial and then the card bases. And guys, please do remember you are going to want your dies because see how intricate those all are? What I will do is cut the pieces and say use this one. I mean, it'll be in with card one or card two or card three, but you'll die cut your own pieces and parts. I will not be die cutting. There's so many intricacies with these. I'm just not able to do it. And then with these, you'll see, you'll want to stamp first and then die cut. So I want you to be successful. I want you to enjoy it. So there is that. Alrighty. So did I miss anything else? Um, you can subscribe today. I will put the link above afterwards. But if you want, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I really need more coffee. Hmm. But if you do want to do the monthly, like every single month you get charged the $39, you do want, you can sign up for that at any time. It's effective on the 1st through the 15th. So if you sign up after the 15th, you get the next month's one. If you sign up before the 15th, you get that month's one. 
However, on that florets paper, I am only ordering for my subscribers on the 1st. So if you wait until the 10th, you may not get it. You may get the alternate designs because that paper is sold out. I just want to make sure everybody's clear on that. If you have any questions, please do ask me on that. Alrighty, it looks like there were no additional comments. I'm getting out of Facebook and getting back in to see if there were. Um, did anybody have any questions for me? Anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. So guys, I hope you have a great day. I will try to upload this to Facebook um, probably not until tomorrow. And then be aware, on Tuesday, we will be playing with dun, 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 my paper pumpkin. Yes, and if you missed that, go back and look through the last couple of postings on there. Guys, I made some alternate cards with it. Those were so stinking cute. Now, I did use a retired card base on it. That was a retired paper pumpkin card base that was an optional add-on. Add-ons are always great. But it fit that card perfectly. I will have those this weekend. <clears throat> on Saturday, I will be at Mount Sterling at the Community Center. They've got some stuff on the streets as well. I will be inside the Community Center. That is at 164 East Main Street in Mount Sterling. And then on Sunday, I will be at the Tremont Club for their Shop-a-thon craft market. And that's from, I think it's noon to four on Sunday. And guys, they pack us in there. You can get everything you want for Christmas shopping on both of those. And that one is at 4800, 4800 Tremont Club Drive in, in Hilliard, Ohio. So I have two craft shows this weekend. So I look forward to seeing you at either one of them. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And I'll see you on Tuesday with my paper pumpkin. Bye-bye, guys.